Have you ever tried to take information inside of an email and parse that to be able to put into, let's say, a CRM? It's going to be a painful process if you're doing all of this work manually, but a new feature that's just released from Ply makes this easy to be able to use their AI to parse that information and then send it into a no-code tool like Airtable or SmartSuite. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a no-code implementation partner. I've created a new feature inside of Ply, and I call this Scrape Contact, and I'm going to edit this so I can show you the different steps that I've created. Now, if you haven't worked with Ply before, an idea behind this is that you have different business applications, and they can control the DOM, and so they're able to inject, let's say, a button into Gmail where I could say, hey, run this automation, and that's going to do the different steps and kick them off. So they can really fit inside a number of different applications as opposed to something that just happens on the back end, like a Zapier or a Make. So for this feature, I've created a display button inside a Gmail. And the first step is to get the contextual message. Really what this is doing is it's going to pull the information from my Gmail. And then this is the cool part. This is their AI text parser. And what I'm able to do is tell it the different attributes that I want. So I put in first name, last name, and organization and title. And that's what I'm trying to parse out of this. Now, I'd like to do a little bit of deeper research to see how it works with other items like quantities of different products that we might want to do. But I thought a first good example would be with this contact information here. So this is going to say, grab the information from our contextual message inside of Gmail. Then we're going to try to parse these fields from it. And then these last two steps really just depend on your configuration and which no-code tool you're using. I'm using SmartSuite, and so I want to be able to write this information as a contact record to SmartSuite. And so I'm taking the different fields that I've parsed to be able to send that data along. And in this case, I'm actually creating a second record, which is going to be my account. And I'm going to link that account record to the contact record. So in a single step, we'll be able to parse that email, create a new contact record, create an account record, and link this all together. Let's give it a try. So I've got my button here. I'm going to click to run that. And then down in the lower left-hand corner, we see the different steps that are executing here. It's created those records. Now, if I open up SmartSuite, I can see I've got my contact record here. That's part of my contacts app. We've got the email address, the CEO role, and we're able to create that account. If I click on it, we can see it's that actual separate linked account record, even though I didn't really capture any information about it. But that's nice to be able to actually create the linked relationships all through an automated process rather than having to do that manually ourselves. So I'm excited to hear from you. How are you planning on using AI email parsing in your day-to-day -day operations? If you have any questions on getting up and started with your no-code automations, please reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering a free 30-minute consultation.